This campaign structure shouldn't work, but it does. So the clients that I've used this for, I've seen two or five X the results rate. So that's more results. The cost per result has gone down and the longevity of the campaigns is drastically improved. So I wanna jump into the ads manager and show you exactly how to set this structure up. And then I'll give you my best ideas on why I think this works, but ultimately it does work. So who cares? So I'm here in my example ads account, just to show you this campaign structure. So it's gonna be a similar structure to what you're using normally, which is really broad targeting, but we're gonna make one key change. So go in and create your prospecting sales or lead generation campaign, make it CBO budget optimized, and I would set the budget starting off somewhere around 50 pounds or 60, 70 dollars, whatever that is in America. And that's all that you need to do in the campaign level. Then in your ad set level, you wanna go in and name it broad and leave everything broad. Automatic placements, no interest targets, just completely broad as you would normally. Fill in your pixel information and your conversion optimization, etc. The only thing that you need to change in here is this box where it says people living in or recently in this location. You wanna just change that to people living in. And I would always just choose one country. Doesn't matter if you sell internationally first, just try one country with this technique. You can expand it later on. So that's all you do in the ad set level. And then in your ad level, I'm not gonna cover how to make ads in this video. It's just a quick one, but obviously you'll create your ads. So you might have two or three different ads in here that you're gonna test, UGC stuff, features point out, direct to offer, whatever you're doing with your ads. And then this is the actual campaign structure, the way that I would do it. You've got your ads all built out. You've got your ad set here. Then I would go down to age and you're basically for this structure, gonna break up the ages into individual campaigns. So Facebook already does have this information. So if you click on breakdowns and view your campaign by age, it breaks the ages down into these groups. So it'll be 18 to 24, 25 to 34, 35 to 44, and so on all the way up to 65 plus. So it will be six ad sets. So what you wanna do is just actually break those ages down into their own ad sets. So this first one, you would break it down 18 to 24, like so. Change nothing else. Then you just click on the three dots, quickly duplicate. And then this one, you would change it to 25 to 34, like so and then obviously rename it at the top so you know which is which. So this would be broad 25 to 34. And then you're basically just gonna do the same thing for all of your ad sets. So you'll have your ad sets broken down by age category. So if I go maximum for this, you can see we've spent 20,000 on this campaign. It's generating 5,177 leads and the lead cost for each age ad set is extremely cost effective for this company. So I think the reason that this worked by separating it, each one of these ad sets will optimize for that age group. So the campaign budget optimization feature then redistributes your ad spend a lot better than it does when you just have everything in one ad set. Really simple campaign structure and I think it's really worth testing if you're running lead generation on Facebook lead forms using instant forms. So give it a try. Let me know in the comments if it works for you.